everywhere you go these days, it seems like there's a guru or a book or an educational program or a paid seminar trying to teach you how to make riches flipping real estate. Flipping real estate is literally one of the most popular things in the real estate industry right now. If you watch HGTV, over 90% of their shows are based on the idea of flipping real estate. The thing is, flipping real estate isn't always that easy and there's a lot more that goes into it that you don't see from these gurus or from HGTV. So I am super excited to announce our newest show on Holton Wise TV. We're gonna be talking about flipping houses. We're gonna take you into actual homes that I myself have flipped with my team here in the Cleveland market. And on top of that, we're gonna be talking to investors just like you who flipped houses in their own markets. We're gonna be going over the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is The House Flipping Show on Holton Wise TV. Let's dive in. Back, 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 back to those days. I was running, 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 running in one place. Set a, set a, set a, set a, set a, set a, set a pace. Feel like I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been running in one place. Yeah, I've been feeling pretty good. I've been feeling great. I've been feeling how I should, how I really should. All right, welcome to episode number one of the house flipping show on Holton Wise TV. I am your host, James Wise. And we are going to get into it on this show, guys. This episode, this is a great first episode because this features a little Parma bungalow. We're going to call this one the Brick Bungalow in Parma. This, I, I like starting the show off with this project because this is literally the beginner's flip. This flip was smooth, it was easy, and it's an entry-level property. We're at an entry level price point, so we were able to pick it up pretty cheap. So this was a tired landlord, I believe. They wanted like 59 grand for it. We ended up settling on 57. You know, we said, hey, this is a great house. We'll buy it cash, no questions asked. Just let us tour the house one time, and then we'll make you an as is cash offer. I believe we closed it in like 10, 10, 11 days. Like, you know, just super simple, right? You don't want to start with like a five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar mansion, something like that, right? You want to start with something small and easy. So this, this, this fits the bill, man. This is a brick bungalow. We ended up selling it for $132,000 and we did make some pretty good money on it. So that was the exit price, only $132,000. So the stakes on this property were incredibly low. The renovation was relatively minor. So if you've never flipped a property before, this is the kind of property that you're gonna to wanna to start with. Tommy, roll the footage of the house. All right, so in here, um... You can see the tile with the convenient baseball bat. Um, looks like someone had linoleum over it. You can see the two-sided tape that goes around. Tile's not in bad shape, but it's a little dated. Living room floors are in pretty good shape. Um, there's a piece of trim missing around the fireplace. That's definitely a toast stubber. Walls are okay. Ceiling's heavily textured, so it hides a lot of these. Um, cosmetic cracks. Dining room. You can see there's some water damage. There's a shower unit above. Um, the floor has some scratches and gouges in it. Definitely needs to be addressed. Also looks like the tenant had some children and they uh, kind of went through and colored on everything. This cabinet's broken. Ceiling fans, got a little droop to it. Kitchen's a little dated. Um, appliances are okay, but Probably need to be replaced. They're a little dated. You have the cooktop, cooktop and the built-in wall oven. These wall ovens are like thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars a piece. You always want to get rid of these, get rid of this, and just remove this whole unit and put a standalone uh, range oven combo or a traditional standalone range oven combo. It's a lot cheaper to replace. Those are like three, four, five hundred bucks. Between the two of these, you're, you're going to spend almost two grand. So during the turnover, that's something we want, we want to address or during the to flip. Two uh, nice size first floor bedrooms, both in about the same condition. You know, they, they need some painting, floors cleaned up, kid colored again on the, the doors in the bathroom here. You can tell the door swells up and binds. There's a bunch of uh, damage here. Uh, the tub surrounds in pretty nice shape. I have to update the shower head, check out the valve. Vanity needs to be replaced. Someone already painted this tile. Um, so we would probably, our tub finisher can actually paint the tile, it's, it's kind of cool. Put down a new floor, you know, update all this uh, 1998 oak 
type stuff in here. Hallway, same thing. Just need to paint some new light fixtures. Smokes and COs like normal. Uh, going to the upstairs. The carpet's a little rough, handrails loose. Um, you know, tenants moving their stuff out. They always aren't as careful with uh, your house as they are with their own. So they smash holes and things. Missing all the cover plates on all the outlets. This is also kind of low. This might need to be addressed. Like the really old, old code was this only had to be 24 inches. Current code is 36 inches in residential. So keeps people from flipping over. Come home drunk and do a header. Nice size closet, linen closet. We have another bedroom over here. Um, looks like somebody added some outlets. It's usually a way um, to add outlets very quickly. Just put wire molding on the wall. Ceiling fan, it's a little low. The uh, door stop must have been missing, so people were bashing it against the wall. Then we got this uh, bathroom up here, which is probably the cause of that water stain we saw on the first floor. Uh, tenant took the door off. You know, it's more convenient to access the extra toilet paper back there. Um, a couple light fixtures aren't working. This sink's starting to rot out. Vanity needs to be replaced. Down here, this needs to be cleaned. There's a nice bar here that's actually functional. There's a sink hidden under here. Some cool Budweiser lamps for your uh, basement, Tommy. We have a dungeon shower over here. We would just go ahead and remove this. It's pointless. It's just a way for sewer gas to get in here and make the basement smell. Uh, obviously laundry. It's gas service for the dryer. You're gonna wanna upgrade that gas valve. Those have a tendency to leak. First thing you're gonna notice is we mulched all the beds. Really adds some curb appeal to the property. Um, then we did some tuck pointing. There was a lot of already tuck pointing already done, so there's a couple different color mortars. We tried to get ours to match as closely as possible. Sometimes on these old houses, it's really hard to match the mortar, both in color and consistency. There's different, uh, this has a little bit more, more solids in it. There's some, there's some rocks and stuff in it. The newer mortars will, doesn't really have as much in there. Additionally, there were some loose shingles on the roof. Uh, we had the roof inspected by our roofer. Uh, he did some uh, caulking around the flashings. He also replaced some missing shingle tabs, give the roof a little bit more life. We painted everything a nice gray, a nice neutral gray, and all the trim is white. Really is, adds a nice contrast to the dark floor. The most impressive thing probably is this kitchen renovation. Stainless steel appliances, dark cabinets, and light countertops. These are quartz. They seem to contrast really well and fit the color scheme of the gray walls and the white trim. Um, the stainless steel appliances are really in now. And this uh, alert floor, which you may recognize from some of our other videos. Uh, we go through and replace all the light fixtures. You'll see a new fan up there. Um, this unit or this property already had new vinyl windows, so we didn't have to, to spend any money doing that. We got a nice first floor coat closet right here. It's got the cedar inside. We got the exact same size bedroom or a pretty similar size. Again, new fan, uh, same paint scheme, same hardwood floors. We got our first floor bathroom, full bath. We upgraded the vanity, the toilet, had the tub refinished and the surround. Uh, we want the same uh, chrome light fixtures and uh, plumbing fixtures as you saw in the kitchen. Nice marble top. This is a bit of an upgrade from the, from the rental units. The rental unit, we would just use a normal 24 inch white vanity. Uh, it would probably cost about 50 or 60 bucks. This vanity probably costs anywhere from like three to four to 500 bucks. Um, and the same floor, the alert flooring that we use in the kitchen as well. Coming upstairs to check out what we did on the second floor here. We carpeted everything up here from the stairs, from the bottom of the stairs on up is all carpet. We went with a gray color to match the walls. We raised the height, it used to be around 24 inches. Residential code's 36, I think we went around 42 inches. Just a safety issue. We upgraded the fans. Fans are an upgrade from the rental properties. And rentals we usually take the fans down because people tend to hang their clothes from them or kids screw around with them and the fan blades get broken. So over here we have the second floor half bath. Same style vanity as the first floor, except a little wider. Um, there's a little, little bit more room on this, in this bathroom. New toilet, similar light fixture, mirror. The mirror had to be a little low, unfortunately, because there's an arch here in the, in the wall, but it still gets the job done. Most people aren't as tall as me. In this neighborhood, um, most of these houses are 1950s builds and they were built with one bathroom. So having a second bathroom really sets this product apart. Expanding your real estate holdings to multiple markets is a great way to reduce your risk. Birmingham, Alabama features an unemployment rate that is well below the national average. In fact, Birmingham's growing tech scene has been highlighted by both Fords and Barons. That 
coupled with Birmingham's low price to rent ratio is why so many investors from around the US have been flocking to the area to put their money to work. Spartan Invest has helped hundreds of investors successfully buy cash flowing real estate in Birmingham. With an average tenant stay of 39 months, it's easy to see why Spartan Invest maintains an annual occupancy rate above 95%. To learn more about the turnkey opportunities in Birmingham, Alabama, contact Spartan Invest today at 205-202-4118 or visit them online at spartaninvest.com. If you would like Holton Wise to sell a property you already own in a video just like this one, send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. So down here in the basement, first thing you're gonna notice is this great rec room space. So we left this wood exposed in the bar to add a little, little highlight down here, if you would, a little accent. Um, we want the same flooring behind here that we used in the other bathrooms and the kitchens. Um, same paint scheme down here throughout the property. And then this way we have a laundry room. Uh, we set the washer and dryer up over there. There used to be like a standalone shower which didn't really make any sense. There was no toilet in here. I don't even think there, there was a big basin sink over here. We removed it. It's one of those things that's just kind of, kind of goofy or tacky. Um, didn't really make sense to be down in here. Uh, there was electrical running through it. It's not really a good thing for a shower. So we just removed it and eliminated the problem. We didn't really have to do too much. We had it checked and cleaned by a HVAC professional. Um, same thing with a hot water tank. Electrical. Didn't really have to do anything there, just had it inspected. There's another panel on that side. This side's actually a sub panel, um, but everything was pretty much in tip top shape. Again, I want to stress to you guys that if you're out there flipping houses, this is the kind of project that I want to see you do for your very first flip. You know, something small, something minute. We didn't have to deal with any structural issues or anything big. You know, like I said at the top of the show, you know, you could flip homes in the five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar range. Yes, you can do that. But once you're, you know, playing in that level, the stakes are so much higher. And if you're brand new at this and you make a small mistake, I mean, that could bankrupt you. If you go after a property like this one, you know, it's, it's you could make mistakes and it's very forgivable and it's not going to end your career. So let's go over the numbers on this one real quick. So we picked this property up at $57,000. This was an off-market deal. Now, a lot of you are not going to have the infrastructure that I have here at Holton Wise. You know, as if, if you are not familiar with Holton Wise, first thing I need you to do is smash that subscribe, like, and share button to see what we're all about. But we are running a very huge infrastructure, a huge business here. We own multiple businesses. So, you know, we're putting out you know, in the millions of dollars every single year to operate this business. So our marketing platform is gigantic. Uh, so because of that, we get a ton of leads coming in. So this was off market, you know, through our various marketing channels, sellers, they know to reach out to Holton Wise. You guys can definitely uh, market to sellers on your own as well. And as we continue with the house flipping show, we're going to talk about ways you can market and you could find sellers who are in positions to sell you homes that would be great for flips. So we're going to be getting into all that. So what I want you to do is in the comments of this show, shoot me all your questions you have about house flipping and about the marketing aspect. As we continue on with this show, we're going to really, you know, just dive into all that. But for right now, I just want to go over the numbers of this flip. So off market deal, seller reached out to us. It was a super simple negotiation. You know, they came in more or less wanting to sell it for about $57,000. I think their original ask to us was like 59. They just said, hey, will you guys buy this? You know, we just want 59,000. We're tired landlords. We don't want to deal with being landlords anymore. And that right there, that's a tip for you guys. Landlords, tired landlords, people in the rental business, a lot of them want to get out because it's a tough, it's a rough job. If you haven't already seen it, make sure you check out our Tenants from Hell show. If you think that landlords aren't going through the shit every day and they're not getting burnt out in this industry, watch some episodes of that Tenants from Hell show and you'll see. It's going to click in your head why tired landlords are a great source for properties for you to flip. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. 
Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to holtonwise.com today. John went through the renovation uh, with you guys earlier when you were in the property there. So the total cost on everything we did was $36,890. Now, I, like I said earlier, I have a big marketing channel, I have a huge infrastructure, big company, big business, right? We're running a $50 million portfolio out here. I don't expect anybody else watching this show right now is running a $50 million real estate portfolio. So what I did on that renovation budget, those are retail prices. So I happen to also be the general contractor, right? Like I own Holton Wise, you know, the real estate brokerage. I own the LLC that is holding this particular flip. I also happen to own Holton Wise Contracting, which was the general contractor of this job. So that is the full on retail price uh, that that contracting company billed the other company. So yes, I personally own all of the companies involved. Uh, so, you know, there is profit margin that I'm making money on, but I wanted to demonstrate to you guys what you can expect uh, an actual full-fledged general contractor to charge you. So I did not include like after I back off all my profit and stuff like that, I didn't want to give those kind of numbers. I wanted to give you guys the real numbers that you can expect in your market. So, you know, you could learn, you know, the type of cost that you're going to be spending because again, I don't expect any of you guys to own all these businesses, but if you own one of the many businesses that I own that are involved in flipping these houses, that's a great way to increase your profit margin. But anyway, so we're looking at a purchase price, 57,000, 36,890, and that's the retail price. So that's the price you guys can expect. Now, we listed this property at $129,900. Incredibly important when you're flipping houses, you need to price these things right. Do not overprice the properties. As a broker, I deal with sellers all the time and the number one mistake they always make is they wanna price the property too goddamn high. Like people, whenever you see a property on the market for an extended period of time, it's because the seller thought it was worth more than it really was. If you have a renovated flip, it's beautiful, it's nice, it's got the modern decor that everyone's looking for and you price it correctly, you'll sell it immediately. We put this thing on the market for 129,900 and we sold it. We had like five offers within the first 24 hours. We ended up selling it, I think it was like a 40 day escrow for $132,000. So we sold it immediately and for more than we priced it. You know, other people, they may have wanted to try to price it at like 140,000. That's just gonna lead your investment to be stale, sit on the market, it's not as attractive. You wanna come out swinging hard with your best possible price, get all the buyers in your market excited about your product and make them compete with each other. If you do that, you're gonna get the higher closing price. I guarantee it. And that's what we did here. So we're all into this sucker. 57,000 for the, the purchase price, 36,890 for that reno. We sold it at 132,000. Now, when you sell a property, of course, there's gonna be costs. You have your selling and your holding costs. So you have your realtor commissions. Now it's gonna be market specific. It's also gonna be price specific. You know, you can expect to pay anywhere between five and 7% to realtors for their commissions. Again, I happen to own the real estate brokerage here. So I got a little extra uh, profit baked into my pie here. Um, but I wanna give you guys, you know, what you can expect to pay on the open market. So if you're looking to increase your profit margins though, you could become a realtor yourself. So when you hire a listing agent, 
you're looking at between five and seven percent listing commissions. And typically in a regular deal like this, the listing agent is gonna represent you, the seller, and then there's gonna be a buyer who's represented by a separate buyer's agent. And typically, it doesn't always work out this way, but usually they split the commission. So if it's a seven percent commission, the selling agent, you know, he'll get 3.5% and the agent representing the buyer will get 3.5%. So if you're smart, you become an agent yourself and you'll save three and a half percent of that commission because you're the agent so you don't have to pay that to yourself so you'll save that and you only have to worry about the 3.5 percent that you pay to the buyer's agent uh, more or less that's what happened in this situation but again i just want to give you guys numbers you can expect to pay in the market so factor in roughly five to seven percent for realtor commissions on top of that you have your holding costs so during the time you own this property you have insurance, you have taxes, uh, you have utilities, okay? And then after that, you've got closing costs. You have to pay a title company or an attorney, depending on what state or market you are in, uh, to handle the transfer. And then you also need to pay your final uh, property tax bills. So typically, when you add up all of those costs, those are gonna be a complete list of your selling and holding costs. It's generally gonna be about 10% of what you sold the property for. So here in this situation, we're looking at about $13,200. So at the end of the day, very simple and easy project for us. We had a pretty small amount of cash outlaid into the project. At no point did we have more than $100,000 deployed in the market. And we were able to turn a net profit of $24,910. Very simple project from beginning to end. The renovation took roughly 90 days. It went on the market active for one day, then it went contingent. Again, we had multiple offers, roughly a 40-day escrow, and then we got paid, bringing home $24,910. So that was the Brick Bungalow in Parma. Very simple, easy flip, entry-level flip. If any of you guys out there have a flip you want to talk about on the show, let me know in the comments below. We'll get you on the show. We'll talk about your flip. And I don't want to see just wins. I don't mind seeing losses. I myself, I've lost money on flips. I'll be the first one to admit it. I do not make money every single time. It's not always this easy. It's not always super crisp, super easy. You make 25 grand and you move on. Sometimes they're a little bit rougher. They're a little bit tougher. And we are going to talk about all of those on the House Flipping Show. If you are interested in learning more about the real stuff behind the house flipping industry, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to like it and share it with a friend. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Back, 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 back to those days. I was running, 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 running in one place. Set a, 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 Feel like I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been running in one place, yeah. I've been feeling pretty good, I've been feeling great. I've been feeling how I should, how I really should. Update light fixture, you know. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Because this is what's really going to sell Can I skip? House. Can I skip in the video? <laughs> You're already laughing. Trust me, I've got two hours of record time left on this. Ow now, brown cow. Ow now, brown cow. Should I do like a slow mo walking? Actually, I'll just do one of these, like walk up like kind of here and then walk in there. Alright. Game face on. I can't fucking come in this door. High Return Real Estate is a true turnkey machine in Indianapolis, Indiana. This company was built for investors by investors. We buy, rehab, inspect, tenant, and sell stabilized turnkey real estate to investors with complete transparency on every step of the process. Every property we sell comes with a third party inspection both before and after the rehab, along with a six-month warranty on all major system renovations 
and our exclusive in-house property management team that has one goal in mind, provide our clients with high return real estate. For more information, subscribe to our mailing list in the show notes below or visit us online at highreturnrealestate.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.